You know, practicing at a two-dimensional target is okay if that's all you have. But if you can go out and try some different kinds of practice, like stump shooting, maybe going to a 3D course, or shooting some aerial or moving targets, that might improve your shooting a little. Get yourself a judo point, a wood lot with plenty of stumps, and you'll have hours of shooting fun. Or how about hitting the 3D course? We have found that shooting in large groups requires more focus on picking a spot, hitting your anchor point, and following through, all of which build confidence when shooting under actual hunting conditions. Nice shot. Who knows, you might have a laugh or two. <laughs> the agony of defeat. <laughs> <laughs> nice plug there. Remember, it's not the arrow, it's the Indian. You may never hunt grouse or pheasant, but shooting at aerial targets is a true test of archery discipline. If you're a whitetail hunter, chances are you hunt from a tree stand. And if you're going to hunt from a tree stand, you have to practice from a tree stand. Shooting at moving or running game is a personal choice based on ability and experience. No matter what your choice, practicing at a moving target can only enhance one's focus. Donovan Valley, the reason they invented guns. And again, it's a lot of fun. That was a perfect one. What's the matter? You couldn't hit that one? It's coming towards you, Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> What was that thing at, like three feet? Yeah! That thing Let's join my brother Tom on a South Florida hog hunt. We're hunting with Trevor Fitzgerald of Southern Arrowhead Outfitters. Trevor has several properties to suit any bow hunter's needs, and they're all loaded with hogs. away I made a perfect hit on it I think died within within 40 yards It'd be a nice little eating nice little eating boar here my father had just enough time to get ready for this pig before it walked off camera Got a spotted little boar hog here, about a 75 pounder, sitting on stand for about an hour. And a couple of hogs came in, the spotted 
little boar was with him. I like the way it looked. It's going to make a good little eater. Here's a hunt with our former cameraman, Peter O'Brien. <laughs> I just draw. I put all my effort into take one, man. I have nothing left. <laughs> all right. All right. This hog came in about five after six with four other ones. Presented me a very makeable shot at about 15 yards. Um, Why is it makeable? Because you hit it. Yeah, because my eyes were open this time. And. Uh, <laughs> This was good. Didn't have to call psychic friends to find it. <laughs> and uh, this is how it happens down here in Florida. Now how's that for focus in picking a spot? After some extensive scouting, my brother Tom placed a tree stand in a small opening in thick cover that was loaded with pig sign. A couple of days later he hunted it, and here's what happened. Three, four yards from my stand, I'm about 20 feet up, so it was basically straight down at him. Hit him high, but perfect uh, front and back, hit lung. Uh, arrow never passed all the way through, so there wasn't much blood, but enough to follow him. He went about 80 yards and uh, piled up, so it was a good hit and nice, nice boar. This footage is a little grainy because we used an old video camera. Silver blue color phases like this one are a rare find, but highly sought after by die hard hog hunters. With the pregnant sow running interference, my father gets ready for a shot. I hit this pig last night because I was unsure of where I hit it. Waited until this morning, picked up the blood trail, and found the pig about 150 yards away. Nice silver. Blue hog. With the great shot I made over that last hog, I decide to sit one of Trevor's feeders. Yes. 
heard him go down. He didn't go very far. Just before it's getting dark, these pigs came right into this feeder. There was a sow and four little ones and uh, two black boars, and I took the larger of the two boars. The hit looked perfect. The pig shouldn't have gone very far. I'm go get him now. The pig didn't go very far. Hit it back, it was quartering away hard. Caught it in the back of the ribs, angled right out through the front of the shoulder. It was a good hit. Animal only went about 100 yards, so. It's be good eating. I'm gonna cut it up tonight, and we'll cook it up on the grill tomorrow. This is the hog I shot last night. One of our favorite ways to cook it is to uh, marinate it in barbecue sauce overnight. Cook it on the open grill on the bone. It's good stuff.